In my video about calamine lotion, someone asked, what's the difference between calamine lotion and hydrocortisone cream? So the main difference is that calamine lotion is generally able to be used by lots of different people at whatever age, as long as it doesn't give you a skin rash and you do not have an allergic reaction to it. You can also apply it everywhere on the body, apart from sensitive areas like your eyes, nose and mouth. With hydrocortisone cream, you should only apply it to the area that is affected and also in a very small amount. You can apply it up to twice a day maximum and usually for about seven days. Any longer than that, you should see your doctor for a prescription. And also it's only for children and adults over 10 years old if you buy it over the counter in the UK from a pharmacy. And if you want to use it on your face, you need a prescription from a doctor. If you want to use it on children under 10 years old, you need a prescription from a doctor as well. With calamine lotion, you can apply it more than twice a day and for longer than a week if you need to. It comes in a big bottle, so you can apply it over a large surface area on the body, on the skin, and you can apply it three, four times a day if you need to. So with hydrocortisone cream, you should only use it for as long as you need to because it can cause the skin to become thinner. Also, hydrocortisone cream comes in lots of different strengths. So you might have hydrocortisone cream 0.1% or 1% or higher strengths. And there are different types of steroid creams as well. And this is something that you can find out more about from the pharmacist or your doctor to see if it's right for you. So I hope that helps. And if you have chicken pox or you have an itchy rash, then I hope that it gets well soon. Uh, with hydrocortisone cream, it does help the skin to heal as well. So calamine lotion can make the skin quite dry and it's mildly antibacterial because it has zinc in it, but not to the strength level of hydrocortisone cream, which is why you should only use a very small amount of hydrocortisone cream and only in the area that you need to use it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the next video.